Hello friends, welcome to our modern class SPSS or a statistical package for social sciences is a usual program to run statistical methods, especially for social science, medical science, and more researchers. This program is menu-based and syntax-based, but some of the students have problems to run and use these programs. Then, in this video, I want to teach you to use ChatGPT, artificial intelligence, to run and to generate SPSS codes, to interpret SPSS tables and descriptive tables. Okay, I'm Dr. Shah Mirzalu, PhD in Biostatistics, and this video will learn you how to use ChatGPT for SPSS. This video has five steps, and now we start with first steps. Let's go to training. Okay, dear friends, step one of this video is about import your datasets. This is a dataset, a simple dataset, composed from age, salt use, exercise, blood pressure, and gender. To download and use this dataset, you need to go to our modern GitHub channels with this address and then click on blood pressure and click on download raw file, download raw file and save Excel file in your computers. Then click on open and you see that there is a dataset similar to this. And now for first step, you need to create a, a table uh, named code book. In code book, you have for every variables a row uh, composed from variable name, labels, and value. For example, for age, I write age, age, and age of participants in years. For gender, I write gender, gender, and uh, one equal male and two equal female. Now we need to import this code book to ChatGPT. Then go to ChatGPT and write. I have a code book, okay, and paste your code book here, then click on enter. Chat GPT now receive your variables in the code books and write a report, for example, for age, uh, for age we have age represents the age of participants and measured in years. But in second steps, uh, we want to uh, run an explanatory data analysis because I assume that you have not any information about them. SPSS menu and any information about a statistical analysis methods, then I run an explanatory data analysis to use a chat GPT knowledge about variables. Okay, in second steps, I write that I have no information, information about a statistical analysis methods. Then, uh, then report or give me, then give me an explanatory data analysis for variables in this data set. Okay, then click on enters and we wait for chat GPT. Now finished and chat GPT uh, write some paragraphs for explanatory data analysis uh, composed from data summary and univariate analysis and uh, for example, bivariate analysis and outlier detection and, and other partitions 
and uh, these uh, paragraphs uh, show you a good, a very good information about uh, statistical methods that you can run for variables and uh, summary statistics separately for every variables. And this is very informative. But in another steps, in step three, I want to uh, get a, a SPSS syntax to run in SPSS. Okay, guys. Uh, before we start step three, I want to say that uh, this address is for all more YouTube channels with near 160 subscribers. And if you want, you can subscribe these channels to be informed about new tutorials for different statistical methods. For example, you see that end of our studio coding and multiple linear regression two way MANOVA and uh, different uh, statistical methods uh, that uh, explain very simple. Okay, now, okay, now I request ChatGPT to uh, report a summary a statistics SPSS code report a uh, report summary a statistics SPSS code and click on enters and wait for chat JPT to uh, write a syntax now we see that write a syntax and now we can cl click on copy copy codes go to SPSS and click on File, New, Syntax, and now SPS has opened a new window named Syntax, then paste uh, chat JPT codes here. But uh, I remember that SPSS uh, has not uh, a measure named medians, then I uh, remove a median of this uh, sentence. We can click on run and we see that SPSS reports a statistics and for genders and also, uh, for example, a bar plot for genders. But now in another part of step three, I want to uh, run a t-test, an independent t-test for blood pressures and, gen and genders. Then I write that uh, run, no, 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 generate SPSS code to run uh, independent, independent t-test for blood pressure and gender. Okay, click on uh, enter to write SPSS codes. Okay, ChatGPT, write this code and now we can copy this code. Go to SPSS syntax and paste this syntax, select click on run and now we see that SPSS report uh, t-test results uh, similar to this but now uh, we want to run t-test from menu in other words how we can uh, receive chat JPT knowledge uh, about uh, uh, run a statistical methods with menu. Go to step four to uh, check about this. In step four, I request from uh, as a chat JPT to show a step by a step menu. Uh, process for run independent t-test. Then I write, please write for me a step by a step 
to run in the pendant t test with menu of SPSS. Then we wait for SPSS. Now uh, we see that uh, ChatGPT write step by step so how to run independent t test by menu. In first steps, uh, ChatGPT write that you need to open uh, SPSS, select analyze menu, select the compare means, and step four, step five, step six, step seven, till to step ten and in uh, the end of these uh, tips, uh, there is additional tips uh, for you. And uh, if you uh, repeat these steps in SPSS, uh, similar to this, for example, analyze, compare mean, and independent t-test, then click on blood pressure, draw, drop uh, this blood pressure to tier, click on genders, and uh, click to uh, group one, group two, and continue. Okay, and we see that we can report these uh, tables. But in another step, I want to speak about how can we use ChatGPT knowledge to interpret, for example, these tables. In step 5, I want to speak about chat GPT knowledge to interpret tables. For example, I want to interpret information in this data set. Then copy these tables, go to chat GPT and write interpret this table for me. Okay? Then paste this data sets and click on enters. Okay, now we wait for ChatGPT and now you see that ChatGPT can help you to interpret uh, amounts and values of every tables and it's wonderful. Now we see that ChatGPT for this sentence, first time uh, write some general explanations about 11 tests and about t test. But uh, in another paragraph, uh, write that the t value for this test is equal minus uh, 2.034 and uh, for example, right here, a p value or SIG of this test and uh, mean difference and 95% confidence intervals, and also chat GPT uh, uh, write a conclusion paragraphs to conclude about this test. And this is wonderful, uh, chat GPT. Okay guys, our tutorial is over done and in this video I speak about ChatGPT ability to run statistical methods and especially SPSS and uh, I uh, say that uh, ChatGPT can uh, interpret your tables, can uh, write SPSS codes for a, a descriptive summary and for uh, run a statistical analysis and interpret tables of every statistical uh, analysis. But uh, if you have not followed our modern YouTube channel, so please press the subscribe buttons and press notification buttons to be notified about new tutorials and new uh, videos about ChatGPT and, and other artificial intelligence programs in the future. Until next tutorials, dear friends, have fun!